Okay, this next video is uh, Is Psychiatry a Joke? Part 7, and I'm going to talk about Kelly Brogan. Kelly Brogan, here's a, what she looks like. Here's her story. She is a psychiatrist lady. Uh, she's real smart. She's a graduate of MIT, and um, she is Irish, half Irish, half Italian. I grew up with lots of Irish and Italian people. Irish are really honest. I'll tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. Hot-headed tempers. Italians, they're really nice and warm, good cooks, friendly. They'll also, you know, a little hot-headed and tell you what they're really thinking. So why do I like her so much? Uh, besides being gorgeous, but what else I really like her, the reason why I like her and I'm making a video about her is she tells the truth and she, she sides with the patients. A lot of doctors, it's very easy to just forget about the patient. I can tell you, you could practice medicine and do just fine and make lots of money and have a successful career and never care at all about patients. The system is designed that you just match the ill to the pill, send a bill, follow the standard of care, then you get paid, then you can't get in trouble. And it actually takes a lot of effort to put the patient first above the medical system. Okay, so some of the things that I like about her, she comes right out and says that this was her earlier book, I believe, A Mind of Your Own. And she just says, you know, the whole serotonin theory of depression, it's just a myth. There's no, there's no scientific confirmation of that at all. So that's why when somebody tells me, oh, medicine's based on science, I laugh. If you actually know it, it's not based on science hardly at all, okay? Um, especially psychiatry. I mean, psychiatry, the DSM since 1980 is a big joke. They just made up a bunch of diagnoses that they could bill people and drug people with. So anyways, that's why I like her. She fights for her patients, okay? She really does the best she can to help her patients, and she doesn't care about drugs. She doesn't play the, you know, pretend uh, drug salesperson joke, okay? Here's another quote of hers that I like. The medicalization of distress obliterates meaning and creates profit. So you can see that's kind of like the school of Thomas Shaw's for psychiatry and psychology that, you know, you have a patient who's having problems. You try to help them. You don't label them with all these insulting uh, names, you know, this person's a bipolar mental disorder. No, the person's sad. What's going on? Okay, um, she also said in uh, this book, A Mind of Her Own, she never cured a psychiatric patient with drugs, but she said she cured lots of people and or at least saw a dramatic improvement in them with better diet lifestyle attitude. Now, in this book, I think she was still kind of, you know, she's she still had more to learn about uh, diet. I haven't actually read this book. I think this is her new book as far as I'm aware of. But also, she gets vilified. You know, when you speak out against psychiatric drugs or other, you know, conventional medical things, you get vilified, okay? Um, so let's see, what else about her? Uh, she talks about taboo topics. Normally, you won't hear doctors. Look at all the, look at all the popular, um, well-known nutrition docs, okay? A lot more famous and popular than me. Name one that speaks about F minus in the water. I'm not aware of a single one doing it. And why? Because they know you'll get shadow put down with your videos if you do that, okay? She'll talk about that. She'll talk about a whole bunch of other taboo topics. In the psychiatric field, a psychiatrist who, ta who comes out and says serotonin theory is a myth, it's BS, it's all made up, that does not help them in their careers at all, okay? So they get vilified, okay? So somebody who's got the guts to stand up for their patients that's good. Okay, so she'll talk about a whole bunch of other things. She was actually friends with this guy, Nick Gonzalez, who's a pretty famous oncologist. And again, how much of his work was really good, I don't know. But I read some of his books, and I, w I, was, I didn't agree with him 100%, but I do think, and he said some things about diet for your type, and I didn't believe that. But he did say some other things about nutrition, autonomic nervous system I thought were very interesting, and some of them were good. So anyways... I think that she's one other person you might find interesting to read and study with regard to psychiatry. And also, she understands things like from a female point of view. There really are a lot of differences between men and women. All this modern stuff about men and women are the same is, is nonsense. Women have a different experience of life, okay? And so it's uh, you know good to let them talk about their own uh, point of view and, and hear from them. So uh, anyways, I think she's good, and I think she came out and said and did a lot of good things, so I hope you find her interesting.